In this video, we are going to be creating original graphics. So we are going to be taking a design and making it our own. So for this design, I started in my Creative Fabrica. I have the Creative Fabrica and I have all access. And so I am going to show you the design Go under my profile here in my downloads. So I found these cute gnomes here, these Christmas gnomes. And so I downloaded these two designs. You can see that they come in a set. So I downloaded them and then I went into my Canva and I uploaded them. Here are the two designs. You can see that. And here is my finished design. So I want to show you how I did this design. And I did this in a nine inch by 10 inch, nine inch wide by 10 inch high, just because this is what I put on the shirt and that's the size that I wanted. So I'm going to duplicate this for you. And I am going to remove this image here. Right here is the one that I got from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to delete that. And then you can see the other items that I brought into the design. So I brought this Christmas tree, this Christmas tree, these two cotton balls. Um, I wrote gnome for holidays and a license plate and I brought some snow in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a page and we are going to work up that design to get it to look like that. So let's bring in, this is the one that I used. So I'm going to stretch this out. And it was very simple. I just stretched it out onto the page here. And then what I did, um, I do have the Canva Pro and you could get these elements from anywhere that you want. But I went into elements and I searched for Christmas tree. And I found um, this one was one that I used, I believe. And so I just popped this in right here. I made it bigger and I put it in there. I wanted more than just those dark branches on there to show up on my dark shirt. So I'm going to put this in here. And then when I just pulled this up and that, which I wouldn't have to do because it would go behind the truck anyway, bring this down a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I am just going to go to position and send this to the back. And then we're gonna go back to elements here and we are going to look up Christmas tree again. And let's see if I, if I can find the exact other one I used. I really can't remember which one, but it's in here somewhere. So I will use must have scrolled down further here. I can use this one. That might be the one and it might not, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that it's just a Christmas tree that I put behind this image here. And again, I want it behind because I want it to cover up those branches a little bit. So again, I'm gonna to go to position and to the back. And let's see here, that looks pretty good. And up there yeah it is a different christmas tree but that's okay so then what i did was i also went into my elements here and i searched for snow oops go back to my elements and i searched for snow oh if i can get in there snow on ground i think i just searched for snow but um, and I went to one that actually didn't have like a cutoff area. I didn't want anything that cut off. And so, cause you can see up here that it's kind of just laying there and that's what I was looking for that effect. So let's see if I can find that exact snow here. And if I can't, not a big deal. We'll just grab anything here. Oh, I think this is it. There we go. Yep. So let's pull that down into this design. And so I brought that down and I wanted that on the bottom here. And then I rotated it slightly to make it look more level. And I'll make it a little smaller here because it's kind of under the truck here like that. Now I search for a license plate. 
So we'll go here and we'll do license. Whoops, got a whole bunch of boxes here that I don't want in there. Let's get rid of these, delete, delete, delete. I don't know how they got in there, but all right. So now I'm gonna go to license plate here and we will scroll through these graphics and you can really pick any of them. It would, you know, to pick, make the license plate. I use something similar to, give me a second, probably this one, I'm guessing, similar to this one. Let's see which one I did use. Well, it's not this one, but this will work just as good. So I'm going to shrink this down and I'm going to drop it onto the tailgate here. And then before I add my text box, I want to go up and find these two balls right here. These are just cotton balls or whatever. Um, I think I did put cotton ball in here, cotton ball. And I wanted to have um, on their hats. I didn't want them just to end like that. So I went to graphics and I found a cute cotton ball here. I think it was this one. And now we'll just pop one of them in here. I think I gave it a little bit of a twist. And we'll do it again for the other one. And put it right here. And we can change the size a little bit. And we can turn it again just a little bit to make them a little bit different from each other. And so now you can see that that is how I did the ball on their hats. And then I went and added a text box here and it came up with the font that I used. I used Autumn Vibes. And so I'm going to move the text box down here so that you can see this. And we will call this um, Gnome, oops, Gnome for Holidays. And then again, you can stretch it out to as big as you want it. I will move it into the center here a little bit more. And then you can go up here and you can change the line spacing and get that closer together. And then you can see it is just that simple to take a design, let me shrink it down so you can see it, and use a design from Creative Fabrica and change it up to make it your own. The reason that I wanted this is because I was putting it on a black shirt and there was just too much black in the design without adding our um, other elements to it. So then it's simple. You just go download. And because I have Canva Pro, I can raise up my DPI and have a transparent background and download this. And so it's going to download all three of these pages. I could have just selected that one. And then you just unzip them and use them in your design. So I hope this helped you to be able to take some beautiful Creative Fabrica images, bring them into Canva, and change them up a little bit to make them your own. Here is our designs right here. And we're just going to extract them. And quickly do that here. And then you can see this is the one that I actually put on the shirt. That was the first one I designed. And this is the one we designed today. And this is just the uh, pieces, the elements. We don't need that one at all. But um, and then I bring it into my Word document and I print it from there for either sublimation or DTF or whatever you are using for your materials. I'm using DTF on this shirt. So I have my image ready here and I am going to be trimming it down. I zoomed in here so you can see it a little better other than my reflection on here. But you can see just how crisp this image turned out. So I have this centered right up there with the V in my shirt. So as soon as my press gets hot enough, I'm going to be pressing this at 355 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 seconds. And then I, got to, I will let it cool completely because this is a cool peel. And here it is after the cool peel. So now I'm going to add a Teflon sheet 
and press this for five to sec 10 seconds more. So here we go for that second press. And here it is completed and it looks so good. It feels so good. It pressed it right on there so well and so clear. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.